Annex, a sci-fi alien faded mate's romance, Bride to an Alien Prince, Book One, written by Kate Stevens, narrated by Skylar Morgan. How do I get myself into these situations? Lexi muttered. She pulled at the high neckline of the dress her uncle's assistant stuffed her into. The ornate gown pinched at her shoulders, drowned her in embroidered crystals, and itched thanks to a white shimmering overlay. The damn thing even had a cape. Every step ended with the possibility of her tripping and falling flat on her face. Her uncle's hand dug into her arm. You will not ruin this for me. Lexi clenched her fists at her side. When Earth first started receiving messages from deep space, Lexi hadn't believed it. She naively bet her best friend, Olivia, if aliens turned out to be real, she'd marry one. Now, three months later, that was exactly what she was doing. Not that Olivia was making good on the bet, but Lexi still felt like an idiot. Smile, and don't speak unless spoken to, Uncle Grayson said as they reached a massive set of carved doors. She forced her smile to stay bright when she looked into her uncle's cold eyes. Grayson Seymour, CEO of Gravitas Technologies, billionaire and all-around asshole, had made first contact with Earth's new visitors. When their ships landed, he had personally greeted them, cameras at the ready to document the moment. Her uncle wanted a place in the history books, and he'd gotten it. Not only for that first meeting, but for what came next, too. Like the rest of the world, Lexi sat glued to her TV as her uncle boarded the ship. The existence of the aliens had been too surreal, let alone her relationship to the man holding Earth's future in his hands. When his name had lit up her cell phone, Lexi couldn't imagine why calling her would be anywhere on his to-do list. She could count on one hand how many times she'd seen him. He was one of the richest people in America, but Lexi had gone to public school and lived in a picket-fenced bungalow. Lexi never interested Uncle Grayson, especially after her dad died of cancer when she was 16. But while the Herculeans were eons ahead of Earth technology, they still held on to more traditional values. It was customary for marriages to seal agreements, joining the two groups into one family. Uncle Grayson had never married and had no children. To have his historical alliance, he needed Lexi. But she hadn't said yes for him. After her dad's death, the hospital had sent her family a bill it'd take a lifetime to pay off. Olivia thought she was crazy to marry an alien for money. Her mom had told her nearly the same thing, but Lexi couldn't watch her family struggle when she had the power to change it. Open the doors. At her uncle's command, the staff snapped to attention. Lexi repressed a flinch. Asshole. The betrothal ceremony tonight was at Gravitas Technologies' sleek headquarters in San Francisco. Lexi had scoffed when she'd seen the tacky, gilded envelopes he'd chosen for the event, but the location hadn't surprised her. It was exactly the excuse her uncle needed to boost his company's stock prices. The doors creaked open and Lexi sucked in a deep breath. She imagined her mom, the relief on her face when the bank stopped calling, their debts paid. Uncle Grayson's grip on her arm tightened, cutting off the circulation at her elbow, but Lexi held on to her grin. Light flared into her eyes from the garish chandeliers and the flash of cameras. The people who swarmed the stairs weren't aliens, at least... Lexi didn't think so, but press from top media companies. Her uncle wanted the event televised across the galaxy. The crystals on her gown caught the light and turned it into a blinding sparkle. She probably looked like a lamp. Lexi tried not to break down into hysterical laughter. Mr. Seymour, over here, 
Miss Alexandra, you look beautiful. Mr. Seymour, what will this alliance mean for your company? Her uncle raised a hand. Thank you, thank you. No questions at this time.